Hi, Tony Caridi here with Graham Cochran of TheRecordingRevolution.com. Dot com. Well, thanks for joining us. How you doing? Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Um, you've been to NAMM before, right? Yeah, this is my second Winter NAMM show. I did the Summer NAMM a couple years ago, but second time here in There's nothing Manhattan. like Winter NAM. No, this is huge. This is crazy. Last year I got lost. This year I feel like a, a pro, but... You based, where are you based? Tampa, Florida. You're based in Tampa, so uh, it's not as exceptional for you to get out of the weather because it's <laughs> eight degrees where I live and it's... Yeah, I was I was hoping for better weather this year. I came from gorgeous yeah, weather. Yeah, it's raining. And yeah, but yeah, I know. it's still We're not going to get any sympathy from the, those in the northern hemisphere. No, I know. Back to, on to business now. Yeah. Um, the RecordingRevolution.com, awesome site, great, you guys Thanks. create great content, uh, how-to videos. Mm -hmm. um, uh, tell us a little bit about how, how long you've been doing what you're doing. You know, the recording revolution was like an accident. It was a, a side project to write about the things I'm doing in the studio for for my friends, really, who are musicians that said, hey, I, I, I need to get into recording for demos or whatever. I don't know what I need. Do I need to buy a, a Pro Tools HD system? And, and how do I use it? And I would tell them, well, no, you, you know, this is probably what you need to get started. And this is how you use an EQ. And so it was really just for my friends. And I never wanted to be a, a writer or run a website. I didn't think I had time for that, but it's just evolved. So now, it, it, three years into it now, three years we've been doing this, it's, uh, it's a lot of what I do. Uh, tutorials every week, articles, training, uh, how, helping people in the home studio make better music with the tools they have, helping them with product reviews of tools that they need or don't need. And uh, yeah, I've, just, I've, been, I've been using Pro Tools forever, and I teach on the Pro Tools platform, but it's for all, all you know, software I try to teach the core stuff for people whatever helps what do you find is the most uh, the, the kind of content people are most hungry for when you do something you probably see a spike you know when we do kind of this yeah. it's gonna blow up what yeah. are people looking for mostly it's mostly mixing honestly I mean there's people want everything but they want mixing training they don't understand compression or EQ uh, and then a lot of people want their vocals they want their vocals to sound great so I feel like I, you know, drums are really hard to record and mix. So I'll do a tutorial on drums thinking it's really gonna be helpful to people, and it is, but you do a video or an article on vocals, how to get your vocals to just to cut through the mix. Th those are the ones people wanna hear. They want, I mean, vocals drive a song, a pop song, rock song, R&B, so. Absolutely. Usually vocals and yeah, mixing stuff. So you, you guys do something really interesting called um, dueling mixes. Dueling mixes, yeah. You gotta, if you guys aren't, uh, if you've never, never, experience this, Graham, please explain what this is. It's really neat. Yeah, a buddy of mine, Joe Gilder, uh, he has a great website too, homestudioporner.com. Uh, he's a, a great friend of mine over through the web and we got to know each other and do some stuff together. He had this great idea. We wanted to run some kind of mixing training thing together since he has his own site, I have my site. So we came up with what we call dueling mixes and it's dueling like a mix, like a, a duel, a D-U-E-L, like a fighting duelingmixes.com. Every month, we, uh, we pick a new song, either client here and I are working on or someone submits a song and we each mix it. So he'll mix it in his studio, I'll mix it in my studio, we don't listen to him. And then we, we post them up and our members get to listen to his mix of, my song, of the song, I, my mix, and they vote who, who did a better job. We try to outmix each other. And then the members download the same tracks themselves, the multi-tracks, and then they mix it and they can post their mixes, there's a whole members forum, and then we each create a video tutorial of like how we mix the song. So you could watch Joe's mix, and if you liked it, you could see what he did to get his drums or his yeah. vocals, or hopefully you like my mix better. That's the idea. Is, of know, course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, so it's tutorials and, and training. it's your but site, it's, so I'm assuming you win more often than he does? Well, it's a, it's a third party site, so oh, we, okay. we, we made it fair. It's a, he's got his site, I have the recording revolution, but then we, we came up with duelingmixes.com as a separate thing, so. It's a whole new community. We thought it would be fun, and then maybe a couple of people would want to get in on it, but it's become a community of hundreds and hundreds of people now in a couple of months, and um, it's, they're all mixing crazy. It's giving people practice. You know, we, we, I give training, but sometimes you need tracks to practice right. on, and so that's kind of what it is. Well, um, coming up, you're going to do a dueling mixing series on, uh, with dueling banjos, right? It's, <laughs> it's going to be the dueling that banjos. That was really the mixing. genesis of it all. Is, yeah, I pictured two guys with a banjo. <laughs> That's the idea. A that. lot of compression. That'll do it. Banjo very well. Live compression. Yeah. Um, one more thing I want to talk about yeah. is you do, you have a Simply Recording Academy. Did I do it right? Yes, absolutely. That, so two years in a row, you actually take what you do online 
Is the idea just to bring everybody in one place and do it in person? Absolutely, yeah. And again, with Joe, a, a good friend of mine, he, was something I pitched to him a long time ago is I love training on the website. I'm able to reach people all over the world. and But I, it's nothing like being in the studio with somebody sometimes. And so I always wanted to put on some kind of workshop. And uh, Joe's, Joe's based in Nashville. So I said, let's come to, let me come to Nashville and, and let's rent out a studio. And, and open it up to a handful of people that can fit in a control room that people really want to make it out. So people have flown from all over the, the U.S. to be there. We've done it twice now, and so we bring in a live band and we spend day one recording the band. They're usually gracious enough to be patient with us as we teach. But we show them how to mic, uh, mic up a drum kit, full band production all day long, and then the next day we show you how to mix the song. And then you can grab the faders and, and we're doing it all in Pro Tools. We're showing them how to track, how to mix, but keeping it real simple. We do the whole mix with stock Pro Tools plugins. Because that, that's the other thing is sometimes people see some of the, the fancy, fun plugins that you can use and they yeah. think, that's what I need. And you don't need it. And the, the Pro Tools plugins are amazing. I mean, I use the, the Digi EQ3, the, uh, the old, old name, Digi, but the EQ3, the stock compressor, Dverb, uh, Maxim. Uh, I use the channel strip now, the Avid channel strip. I've been using the uh, Expand, yeah. the virtual instrument for like everything I need. But They're great sounding plugins. You know, it's funny because you, you go, if you walk into a studio, some A-list producers, some of the guys we've had on our yep. stage, be surprised how many of them are using in Q3 and and they're using a lot yep. of the stock stuff because, you know, at the end of the day, it's not the it's not the one, it's the wizard kind oh, of yeah. thing, you know. Um, not to diminish the quality of the tools out there, they're, they're, no, they're no. it's great stuff, but um, you can do a lot to your point just with what's built in and that's what that's what I that's what my heart is is showing people at the recording revolution that it, it's a revolution that we are part of right now the, the cost of gear and the access to technology so with Pro Tools what you can get right now with a basic native Pro Tools system is so affordable and so powerful it, it's unbelievable and so it's my my heart is to show people that the tools are in, inexpensive so get them and then here's a little bit of training and get people motivated to go create good music and not get lost in the sea of how it's hard to EQ or compress. Let's simplify it a little bit, give you some tools and training, but it's a great age to make music in and to live in. So that's, that's what I'm excited about. A absolutely. And and the community, I got to say, on behalf of Avid, we're really, really thankful that you're cultivating this community because it's, it's a great oh, service absolutely. for everyone. Um, so for more information on uh, the recording uh, revolution, it's the, the recordingrevolution.com. Go there for more info. You can Absolutely. sign up for whenever you're going to do the, the next academy. Yeah, we got to land down dates, but yeah, everything should be there. The recordingrevolution.com. All right, You'll great. So out. stay tuned for dates on that. Um, and of course, for, for any information about Pro Tools, you can go to avid.com forward slash Pro Tools. And uh, once again, Graham, thanks so much for uh, lot, your time and, and all your support. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you online.